guess who got her tax refund? Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be stuffing my tax refund for 2020. And for this year's tax return, I got $1,030 in my federal tax return and $30 in my state tax return. I have not actually gotten my state tax return yet, but I am planning to add that to my account buffer in my checking account for one of my two checking accounts. And so when it does come in, I'm just leaving it in the bank anyway. So today I'll be talking to you about my federal tax return, which is $1,030. So since I have two checking accounts, I wanted to put two $30 buffers in each one, like one $30 buffer into each one. So $30 of my federal tax return is going to stay in one of my checking accounts. So this should be $1,000 flat. And yeah, the other $60 will stay in my checking accounts. So today let's just count and see and make sure we have $1,000. Also, I've been getting a lot of comments about why I use some fake money and some real money. And the fake money is for the envelopes that I keep in my savings account. I don't like having a lot of cash at home and some of them uh, I just stuff fake bills just to see how much I have in the bank and I don't have to actually pull it out and bring it home. So that is why I use prop money for some but others I do like having at home. So that's just how I do it. Works for me. Do what works for you. It's called personal finance because it's personal so do what works for you and yeah. So let's count this and make sure it's $1,000. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 750, 770, 790, 810, 830, 850, 870, 890, 900, 910, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, so 990, 991, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. So we do indeed have $1,000 here, and I'm going to put it in my cash tray and we'll get started. All right, so I have a plan for some of this money, and I don't have a plan for other parts of the money, so I'm going to start with what I know I'm stuffing, and then we'll kind of work our way through the rest of it. So the first things I know we're stuffing are in big blue. So I know that I'm going to put money in towards my California trip. So we are going to start by stuffing these and I'm going to do two fifties for a total of $100 in this envelope. And we are gonna put 50 towards lodging. So now in lodging we have 100, 150, 200, 210, 20, and 25. So 225 dollars in lodging for a 400 dollar goal. So we're getting real close on that. And then for transportation, if we add 50, we will have 100, 200, 20, 30. So 130 in transportation. Is that right? No, 230. 230 in transportation. The goal being 400. So, I'm going to just go ahead and update my trackers. I have not done that yet. Honestly, I have no idea what day it is. Um, let's see. I think it's the 4th. Yeah. Let's pretend it's the 4th. So if we add $100, now we're at $594 for the trip, which is great. So I have put that in here and then I wanted to also add $100 to my friend's wedding. The fun news that I got this week, really yesterday, and I haven't had time really to process it because my work week has been so, so insanely busy that my friend Lauren called me and said that her wedding is um, getting canceled. So. Um, I booked my flights to California with a non-refundable credit because they were from her original wedding and then I had to use it within a, a year and that year ended on March 3rd. So I had to book the flights and then on March 3rd, 
the wedding got canceled. So I have non-refundable flights to California. And only, I do have one wedding that's maybe happening in California still. So, but I probably wouldn't have chosen to spend two weeks in California because it's so expensive and I cannot afford it. And I've literally been putting so much money towards this. So I need to figure out if, like, I'm going to need some of this money just to, like, survive in California, like, the lodging money, because that was going to house me for three nights, two to three nights in California. So, um, I'm just going to probably, like, stop funding this as aggressively and figure out what I'm going to do differently. So, yeah. Anyway, so for now, I am going to stuff $100 just because that was already the plan. And so, I'm going to do it, and then I'll figure out what my plan is later. So, um, cause I'll have to figure out a new savings plan. So let's see, I never updated this from my last stuffing. Okay. So if I put in the full 100, I would be over fully funded. So this is fully funded. So if we just put in 95 of the 100, we should have 150. So we have 1, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we'll fully fund this and then we'll go and put some money aside for whatever should be next and I'm trying to think of what I guess I'll put this in gift because eventually my friend will get married and I will need to get her a gift so I'll just put this here for now all right so now five dollars in gift for the wedding so I will figure out what I'm gonna do with this later but for now, in Lauren's wedding, we have $455. I also need to ask her if the bachelorette party is canceled or not because I already paid for that Airbnb. So I'm hoping it's still happening, but I need to figure that out. So that is it for this binder, but I am going to put some money aside for savings challenges coming up. So let me grab that bag. So I decided to go ahead and put aside $50 for this in some smaller bills. So let's see, I think both, all of this is for this too, because I'm having trouble budgeting this into my budget. So if I could have money already set aside for savings challenges, then I won't have to do as much in my day-to-day -day budgeting. So it should be $50. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. So yes, this is 50. We're going to add it to whatever's already in here. So now set aside for savings challenges, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 9, 9, 10, 90, Kristen, my brain, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, 90, and then 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100, and then 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 107, which should get me through several months of this challenge. So honestly, this just makes me way less stressed. And that is important to me. So that's why I'm putting money towards it. So that's essentially going into this envelope, just not yet, you know. And then obviously, y'all know if you're new, if you're not new to my channel, that I am on a debt free journey. So I am obviously putting a good chunk of my money towards my debt payoff. How much you might ask? Well, I decided to put a month's worth of debt payments towards my credit card. So I'm going to do $450 of my tax refund to my debt. And we had 110 already this month. So we are at 560 for the month already and it's like the second week the first week I don't even know what day is it who knows so we have one two three four and fifty and I do this in prop money because I transfer the money freak like I do frequent transfers towards my debt because that helps with interest so um 
there's no point in pulling out the money because I make, I, I'm make i making this debt payment tomorrow. So why would I pull out money just to take it back to the bank just to pay off my card? So this helps me track how much I put towards my card for the month so far. So we should have 560. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 20, 40, 50, 55, 57, 59, and 60. So 560, which is so exciting. So if y'all watch some of my end of February closeout videos, you would know that I was feeling a little frustrated with my debt payoff journey. So this makes up for that. I feel a lot less frustrated and just a lot more motivated than I did before. So I love getting these lump sums because they really are super motivating to keep going. So the next thing I want to stuff is for my business. And because I'm still getting my business off the ground, I really want to put some extra money towards it if I can. So I decided to put $100 of my tax refund towards this. And I'm going to do that in a 50 20s. Let's do two 20s and a 10. So it should be 100. So 50, 70, 90, 100. And I'm going to just put that in my income, which I've already accounted for that here. And I will stuff this in my next side hustle stuffing. So it'll just sit here for now. That's just extra income. So that's it for this. And then in my fixed sinking funds, I'm only stuffing one. And I decided with the rest of this money, which let's even see how much all this is. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, one. 30, 140, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. So I have $200 and this is for me, for what I want, wherever I want, for things that I want that I can spend money on now or in the near future. So the first one I want to stuff is Black Friday. And it's the only one in this binder because it's the only one for me in this binder. And I was going to put 50 towards it. And I'm like, do I want to do that now? I just like kind of want a little bit more immediate gratification than that. <laughs> and Black Friday's in November. So I think I'm going to switch this with another category of what I was thinking of putting towards another category. So I'm just going to put 10 for now. Yep. Yep. I feel good about that. So we'll put 10 in Black Friday. Yep, because that is so long from now. I was like, oh, I'm gonna give myself 50. I'll be halfway to that goal. And I'm like, but why? It's months away. Um, when I have other things I could spend that money on now that I would rather. So I'm gonna do that because honestly of a $1,000, $1,060 tax refund, if I'm only giving myself $200 for immediate things, then like, Let's put some in my pocket, you know? So we're not funding car maintenance because I always fund that. And in car maintenance, we have 100, 200, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 218. So nothing in here. Gifts I do want to stuff um, because I do have some gifts coming up that I need to buy. So I'm going to put 20 in here. So now we have 20, 30, 35, 40. So $40 in gifts, which is great because I need to spend some of that soon for some baby showers. Household, I'm not stuffing and it should have 205. So we have 100, 205. So I'm not stuffing that because I stuff any leftover toiletry money in here. Medical, I'm not stuffing because it is in my flexible spending account. Vacation, I don't think I'm stuffing, but we might come back to. We'll see. But we have 20, 40, 65 in vacation. Boyfriend, I do want to stuff, and I think he only has five right now. And y'all, he had knee surgery today, and it went really well. Um, so I bought him some recovery snacks and things, so I'll probably have to pay myself back with this money. Um, but I'm giving him $10. I wish I gave him 20 so we might change that later, but now we have 15 in boyfriend, but he is doing really well and recovering. So that's great. And then shopping, we have $5 and I want to put 10 in that as well. So now we have 15. 
and that's just for whatever I want to buy. And then in weddings, I definitely want to put money in here. So I'm going to do a 20. Whoa. 20 in weddings. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 70 in weddings, which is great. Fitness and wellness, I want to stuff as well. So I'm going to do a 10 for this. So now we have 20, 30, 40. 40 in fitness and wellness which is one of my favorite envelopes because I love working out. That's like one of my favorite things to do. I do it like five times a week, so sometimes six or seven. So yeah, love this envelope and love to spend out of it. Volleyball, I'm not stuffing, but we have 20, 30, 31, 32. I'm in a new season, it just started, and we lost our first game, but you know, here we are. Clothing, I want to stuff because I never stuff clothing. And we're going to give her 10. So now clothing has 10, 25. So I imagine as it gets warmer, I will want to buy more clothes. So I do want to add more money to this if I can. Electronics, I also want to stuff because again, I never stuff it. And it has five and we're going to add 10. So now we have 15. So entertainment is the one I want to, I wanted to switch with Black Friday because I have some friends coming into town and I didn't budget for it and I know we're going to do some fun things. Um, so I want to beef this up. So I'm going to put the 50 that I was going to put in Black Friday in here because I was only going to give this 10, but I'm like, I, you know what? I just want to have fun when they're here and I don't want to be stressed about money. So I'm giving this the 50 and I will, I have plenty of months to save for Black Friday later. So in entertainment, now we have 50, 60, 70, 85, which is, yeah, this is the right choice for sure. So excited to have them here and get to spend that money. Y'all, I feel bad, but I'm not stuffing giving. <laughs> um, I decided that because I've decided not to stuff any of the envelopes I stuff every week. And this is one of them. Um, but we have five, six, seven, eight in giving. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling bad about it. But I also just like never stuff a lot of these. And I really wanted to this time. So, and I just ran out of money um, pretty quickly. So, one week ahead, I am adding $40. Because I want to get one week ahead on my spending. And when I do, I'll show you what I'm going to do at that point. But... I really want to hit this soon. Um, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. Is that right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 85, 90. Yeah, $90 in one week ahead. So exciting. And the goal, I think, is 150 So I'm getting close. And then subscriptions is the last one I'm stuffing, and I'm going to put a 10 in that. So now we have 20 so that is it for my tax refund stuffing, you guys. Um, not super, super exciting, but it's something. So I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope you are getting your tax refunds and putting them towards some of your savings goals. So let me know down in the comments what you're doing for that, and I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye.